Welcome back for more reptiles, archery, engineering. Ladies and gents, have fun and please enjoy. Full of the dragons. Uh, what the way it's gonna be like today. Very nice. Cloudy again. That's good. And the windows need to be freaking clean. And look at the shot. Jesus. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. Uh, Hey ladies and gents, this is Scott here. It is only 7.27 in the morning. And I done a whole lot today. Well, yesterday. I helped my mum outside. And... Yeah, I'm, I, I mowed the lawns. And I done a whole heap of stuff for my mum anyway, so... That's all done, so I don't need to do it again. So today, um, not going to archery today. I gotta to take a break. But last night was really unexpected. I was filming the possums, and the possum was having a love in front of my night vision camera up in the tree in the fork of the tree. <laughs> Far out. I caught this on camera on the time. This is just really, um, it was weird. <laughs> Literally. So today, um, don't know what I'm going to do today anyway. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Now my phone doesn't want to work properly. Um, my gaming channel now, otherwise I finished the last episode of Red Dead. So, that is quite awesome. There's still no watches yet. So, that's the last episode. But, oh, I don't care. I don't really... Yeah, anyway. Um, but, yeah. I'm happy right now. Because doing the last episode of Red Dead, that's the last episode of that game, so... I've done 60 episodes on that series, and... Yeah. But still, I don't... I don't really know why YouTube doesn't want me to play Far Cry. They said it's copyright, don't know why it says that. Not copying anyone, you know. I turned off the music on the game, so that's done. But it says, it still says copyright for some reason, I didn't know. Right now, my boys just woke up. Hey, Stampy, hey, Chef. Chevy <laughs> just looked at me right now. Oh, that's good. Both of them is trained uh, f for food and to um, walk forward to me. So they train to be command. So. They trained. Chevy on that was he's my oldest dragon. He's seven to eight years old. He's turned eight on July, so not that bad. Stumpy he turned three this month on February, so he's three years old. But that's okay. Now I'm I'm still finding girlfriends for these two boys and right now I can't find any anyway um everyone wants a arm and a leg for a female bear dragon and I can't find one that is low price so 
not good news. So right now, I'm gonna watch Kemp Ken. He's at his friend's zoo, and his video is called "Incredible New Snake Room." Oh, I really hate zoos. <laughs> oh shit. Oh well. So I'll see you guys later. Till then. I'll see you guys when I get back from town, wherever time that is. So I'll see you guys later. All right. Just came back home from Nikki's and from my little brothers because we had to drive my little brothers car all the way back here. So that job's done. So yeah, right now it's feeding time for my boys, and they are super super hungry right now. The Chevy's just here. Hey, baby boy. What's this? You want to play one? No, doesn't want. Does not want to play. I will put the toys back here. Get the feeding bowl. So yeah, I'm not going to go to archery today, I'm going to take a break. And right now, it's feeding time for my boys. I just, yeah, I had a really busy morning. Going to Cameron's place, going to my Labrador's place. Pick up him, go to Nikki's. And literally just have a good time with family. That's all I wanted is... Have a good time with family, not just by myself. So, yeah. So right now, I hit, left my hair out of the hat, and I did not put it in a ponytail, so it's puffed up. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, let me empty this bowl. It's still got old mealworm and and superworm skin out in it. So yeah, I helped my little brother to get his car here, so it's going to be really busy right now. Alright, uh, time is 12.23 in the afternoon, so it's fading time for my dragons. So right now let's... <laughs> Chevy's looking at the worms right now. He's right here. You can't you can't actually see him because he's bright yellow. The both of them is bright yellow. My handsome little boys are bright yellow. They are not dull kind of colour, they are bright yellow. Alright. Oh we got a spicy one right here. Oh, that's <laughs> right near the word dish. Oh, that's okay. Luckily, it's on the bar. I just came back with an empty stomach, and I don't want to smell that. That stinks. Okay. Time to clean that, clean that up first. <laughs> Always do it first. Clean up. I <laughs> think the beer dragons have gone to the toilet. I'm gonna put more substrate on there so it dries up the liquid from there. And the bag's nearly full anyway, so yeah. So right now, that is good to see. So 
here. Yeah. Right now, I gotta feed them. Oh. Let me put you guys on this corner. All right, let me feed these two. That's two, four, five. That one just bounced out of the food dish. Six. Again, bounce out of the freaking food dish. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Alright, that's six, seven. Really? They freaking. Wiggle out the tweezers. Alright. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Twelve. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Calm down, boys. Jeez. Sixteen. I know, Dad. Tom, he's here to feed you. I'll be out my little brothers and Nikki's coffee for a couple of hours, so that's not bad. All right. One, two. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. Four, six. Ah. If I get too many numbers, I get too many numbers. <laughs> One more will do it. There we go. See, so yeah, being at Nikki's is a really good cafe. Um, it's a really good classic cafe too, it's really good. Oh yeah. That's one. Two, three. Four, five. Six, seven. I'm grabbing two at once. Eight, nine. Far out. Ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, thirteen. Eighteen, nineteen. Twenty. Alright, give one to Chip. Chip. Oh, you want? You want? <laughs> you said. Come on. Good boy. Alright, Stumpy. Okay, Stumpy. Stumpy. Hey. You want? You want? Click, 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 click. On this side. On this side. Good boy. Good boy, that's my man. See, both of them. Bang, bang. Straight out of the front of the tank. Food command. Good. When you pull out the containers, they come to the front of the cage. That's good. So, right now, let me. You got Stumpy. Settle down, baby boy. Settle down. Sell down. Aye. Good boy. How are you? <laughs> That's my boys. Let me 
get you guys closer to them. This is how they feed. They are, they are bear dragons, they eat wild. Shit, uh -huh. Stumpy, Chevy, you're grabbing too many at once in your mouth. And you learn some go. This is what he does. He's old. He makes a mess. There we go. So yeah, these two are fed. And see, Chevy's gummy bears, he's old. I had him for this is the eighth year coming up on July, so he's eight years old this year. He's not a bad boy. He's actually my first dragon when I first got him. He was tiny than my finger, uh, tiny than my pinky. He was that tiny now. Look at him; he's just a massive boy. Look at them; they sharing. They are both my boys. I love them both. I love them both anyway. And they got nothing in the bowl now. So that's my boys. I gotta move you over here, Chevy. I'm sorry, I squeezed your tummy, baby boy. That's my big boy. Come on, Stumpy. Alright, I'm gonna move the grass back in. It's okay, Stumpy. It's okay. I'm sorry I put the grass in your face. There we go. There you go, my big boy. There you go. Always give your reptiles respect. Good boy. He loves his chest scratched and rubbed. Same as Chevy, he loves his chest rubbed and scratched. Come on, go on, big boy. <laughs> that was my dad. Good boy. Both of my boys. So yeah, I'm gonna have some lunch, ladies and gents. So let me put the worms back in the fridge. I gotta go to the stores and buy myself fizzy drink beers. I got one can left that sells my stomach. I have not drank it last night, so that's the only lucky last one. But the only ones I got is the cans of Red Bull, that's the caffeine one. I don't want to drink that. Too much caffeine, I won't fucking sleep. That's the reason. <laughs> so after lunch, um, I don't know, it's 12.34, far out. I've been out of the house for a couple hours. Oh well. So right now, I'm going to close these two wonderful handsome boys up and let them relax they had a good feed and just let them relax so I'll see you guys later till then after lunch I don't know what I'm going to do anyway it's a family day anyway that's what I'm going to do tomorrow I'm going to archery to test out the new rubber hose wire I got for my compound yesterday, so I'm gonna try it. So if it works and don't pop off, that's good. So I'll see you guys later. All right, ladies and gents, I am on uh, on the edge of archery. Archery is closed. Fuck me, that gun was loud. The gun range is next to me anyway. But far out, that was a loud clap. So it must be the little rifles. Oh well. <laughs> so right now, let's go for a drive and just do that because I got nothing else to do today. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty quiet one today. And literally 
quite, quite, like, literally you can't even do anything about it. It's that boring. It's just, it's, it's giving me the shits. I got nothing else to do. Now the racing cars are on the track today, but I can hear. They're supposed to be there the week after, but it sounds like they're here early. Oh, that's a kangaroo cargus. No, they are not on the track. That's weird. It sounds like it's they on the track already. But that's a cop car where I can see. So yeah. Or not. Fucking idiots in a BMW. I hope there's cops on the track today because I, I want to catch all the idiots that want to do fucking burnouts on this track because they should not do that. Literally, burning rubber while traveling, it's not good to the track. Sake. I, I literally got nothing to do. Yesterday I done everything I needed to do yesterday and I ran out of things. Plus, the last episode of Red Dead was on yesterday, yesterday morning. Done. Finally ended the story of Red Dead. After 60 episodes, yes. But literally, I got nothing else to do. I'm not gonna go back on Core G. Core G sucks. Literally. Um. There's literally nothing I can do. Except making my Dying Light series, and that's it. Um. The Dying Light series, I'm going to make still. I'm up to episode 7 I made earlier. But I need to make all the episodes so I can advertise it for you young gamers out there. Because I'm, I'm trying to get my hobby up and running so I can get a little bit of work up and running. And then get my big business up and running, that is engineering. But gaming, this is my hobby. Even painting with the airbrushes. I got my own airbrush kit so I can actually do mirroring or art. And that's it. I don't do tattoos, but I do a damn good samurai pitch on a hood or bike. And that's it. So, that's, that's what I can do. Really good, colorful art with a good kind of design. And that's all I do. But literally, I got nothing else. I got no, I got nothing else to do. So driving around, filming nature, filming everything what I need to do, and just be me, be natural. I'm not upset about it, but not playing games it means good. I'm starting to get a lot more better. I th I think I finished games completely. Um, literally, I got nothing else to do. There's literally, I'm bored to the bone. Literally, I got nothing else to do. I got far out. How many games I finished in the first years? About 256 games I finished on Xbox and PlayStation. And the parking is full with tourists. 
Bray. From Queensland and Vic. Oh, Bray. I went past those kind of drivers when I was in Orange. It's just... They drive really slow through New South Wales and they don't drive normal. And that gives me the shits. So, the reason why I'm driving about 45, 43 kilometers an hour down here, because sometimes there's a cop down here I can't see. And literally, he's just in that driveway where you can see the big, big cement wall. He's there. I don't like it. He's just... Yeah. I always get caught by him. I don't know why. But he targets at Subaru drivers. It looks like he's not there today. All he is, is he's just eating donuts and drink coffee like every cop does for a break <laughs> but the cops in my country they're not that bad they are friendly blokes they only have a hard time if they yell at you or go off at you without you speaking they had a bad time I understand that Not gonna go on top of the mountain, so that's off limits. Those are old double decker buses. That's going back to the semis. <laughs> I love the vehicles from the semis, they stick out. And they are really lovely vehicles to drive. From the 60s to the 80s, no prop. You got no electrical problems, absolutely natural. But these vehicles today, electrical problems, engine problems, everything else. And sometimes wheel problems, where the mechanic doesn't tighten up the wheel nuts and you got loose wheels like going Wiggle, 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 hold the whole feagle. See ya. So right now, I am about to get off the track and park. Oh, okay. Go around the lovely lady. It's a wedding. Hey, that's not bad. Oh, she she won the um, big red Ford Raptor. She's the one. Hey, that's not bad. But when it's a wedding, that's so much beautiful. That is so gorgeous. Yeah. But red dress with a red car, perfect match. Fucking perfect match. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to get off the track. Let's go for a little walk. I'm bored. So it was a, a wedding person that won the big four Raptor from last year's um, voting. That's not bad. She's getting married. Lucky woman. That is lucky. But who won the uh, turbocharged RX-8 or RX-7? Don't know. Never seen on the track at all. Or the new Yamaha motorcycle.
so yeah that lucky person that has the four raptor well done but she's getting married that's that's more even luckier than that she's a pretty lucky woman that has a car that is for family and that's good So right now, I'm about to park. And the other car, anyway. There we go. Right, yeah. All right, put the windows up. So that was the track. That woman in the white dress, she's getting married and she's the one that won the um, 2018 10 speed friggin' full Raptor. She is lucky. So right now, I am next to the park. Let's go for a walk and let's do it. All right, turn off the car. And my car is actually more perfect. Oh, I washed it about two days ago, so it's still clean. So yeah, it is so beautiful when there's a woman in white that won the 2018 10 speed gearbox for Raptor and she's having a wedding. That's lucky, that's, that's beautiful. I don't like Ford at all, so yeah, but I don't blame her. Um, if she picked the Ford Raptor, like the 10-speed ten, ten gearbox, and it's a huge car. And she's getting married, that's, that's beautiful, that is so gorgeous. So right now, let's go for a walk, and just see the uh, just see the whole valley from down here it is windy out here but I'm feeling a lot a lot more better now I don't have shoulder pain neck pain or a fucking headache but that's good so yeah so hopefully we see nature on the way and that's it. Except snakes. I don't like snakes, so that's the that's the off bounds for me. I don't like snakes at all. I'm terrified of snakes. Since when I was little, about six years old. Yeah. Oh, don't want to talk about that. That makes my heart pound, uh, bounce about 200 kilometers an hour. I don't like that. So yeah. Going forward, I got my engineering certificate. And after I help my parents to work, I'm going to build my own work trailer so I can actually go to work with them. But gotta get a truck to carry that trailer with my equipment because if I don't, well, I'm stuck. I don't want to tow the trailer with my with my Liberty because if I stretch that car, that car's wrecked because that car doesn't carry heavy stuff at all. It carries light stuff like my bows and stuff, even my toolbox. But not when you got a sister that doesn't do that much exercise and she weighs the whole back of the car down. She's not that round. It's only, well she's not moving anyway, her legs weigh the whole car down. It's not her weight, it's her legs. But, yeah. 
right now, I don't see any nature around here. It's just quiet. Yeah, that, there's literally nothing. It's all dead silent. That is just absolutely weird. I don't like silence. Maybe it's that big brown snake what I saw on Monday. That scared all the nature away. The big brown snake, you stay away from them. They are psychotic kind of snake. Can, they can chase you. Like the Taipan, the Taipan chases you as well. And those two snakes, you don't want to go across. So if I see one of those snakes, I stand still. Don't move at all. Don't make a sound. Like my dad always say, don't move when you got a snake near your feet. Don't move, don't breathe. They all sense it. When I was little, if I tell you right now, don't tell anyone else. Um, when I was six years old, I was sitting in the backyard with my favorite dog. That is a black and white ball collie. Full, long hair, full bred ball collie that protected me from this fucking black snake. It was a red belly black that is longer than the brown. Coming close to me and then my dog actually chewed it up. Whoa, what the fuck? That's weird. Why that's got dark so That's got toes. Six toes. Yep. Wait, this is fresh. That is fresh. It stopped right here and then... Alright, there's another one. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six toes. This is a... Yowie. This is a... This is new. I've never seen this dark soil already. Yeah, that does a six toe. But where the fuck it came from? I've seen its nest right over there. But why it's over here? This is new. This is fresh. Fuck, I'm seeing weird shit. I, I have not smoked or drank anything. I'm not a smoker or a drinker anyway. So I'm seeing things that is the truth. That is new. New footprints. I never seen those right there. Even the dark soil. The dark soil came out of nowhere. Dark soil came from a different spot. So whoever made those footprints, it's still here. I am not. If I hear tree knocking, run. <laughs> fucking hell. I hate this. I fucking hate this fucking shit. So, yeah, but also I need to watch out for the big brown snake. If he if he traveled over up here, well, I need to be a bit careful. I need to use my senses on my ears and around me. So, yeah, the big brown snake, it was a massive snake on Monday. I, I actually saw it with the camera and I got it on film as well. Um... <laughs> Fuck. No footprints here, so it's back that way. So it came towards here, then turned that way or that way. So it has not been here. There's dark soil here. Okay, that is just weird. Why this dark soil? That came from a different area. Sand? Okay, this is like a fucking weird every time. The fucking soil and sand. 
kangaroos being here, I, I can see that. Oh, what? Ooh. I need to be a bit careful because this is snake territory. Um, have I seen the big brown on Monday? He must be up here too, so I need to keep my wits about it. Because that was not a little brown one I saw. It was a fucking big one too. So yeah, the race, the race will be staying in a week time. Where it's a 12 hour, then the big Bathurst 1000 with the big V8s. But this is beautiful, look at this. So friggin beautiful. There's smoke on the man. Right there. Oh, that's rain, either way. Oh well. There's the gun range right over there. That building across there, that's the gun range. Gun range is just next to the artery that is over here. Gun range is right over there, so not that far from each other anyway. Um what's the time now? 258. Fuck. It's 1458 right now, so that's 258. So, yeah, not that bad. So, yeah, going for a walk, not that bad. So right now, I'm gonna go back to the car. Now we found more footprints. Different soil that doesn't belong in the area, so it's in a different area the soil is. And yeah, I think these yowies want to be seen, not unseen. These yowies, they do these strange things like visibility cloaks, like, you know, blend into the background. I heard tree knocking months ago. Even faint footsteps, like big fudding, kind of faint kind of sound. You know, chasing me all the way to the fucking car. That was fucking creepy. So yeah. So right now, let's go back to the car. Um, and actually go home. I am. I'm literally bored shitless, Ray. I need, to, I need to make my work trailer so I can go to work, do some engineering, get paid, help the family to get to their dream home. And that's what I want to do, help family out. Um, my friend Dave, he actually started his dream job as well being a photographer he's done absolutely a beautiful job of doing black and white photos it actually stands out beautifully yeah black and white beautiful photos see ya that is shaped like a footprint if I stand out of the way that is a footprint right there so it, it stops right here. It turns that way or that way. Don't know where it's gone. But first footprints are over here. So it's going that way or that way. It's going back to, to the Yaoi site where I saw a month ago. It just disappeared. So let's get back to the car before anything else happens. I don't want to be nervous today. See so, yeah, I finished Red Dead series yesterday, the last episode. 
but I got nothing to do. Because if I play Core G right now, I am starting to get the shit of it. Because right now, Treyarch's pulling different characters sort of like Snoop Dogg or Nicki Minaj or everyone else from the music group onto war. That doesn't make sense. Snoop Dogg, he's not a gangster, he's a rap god. He doesn't play with guns, he plays with music. Not shit like war. He's in the semis, not to sell today's bullshit. But yeah, it's been really good having a walk, having a drive, getting myself activated, you know, getting active. Except staying at home, bored shitless, got nothing to do. And just, yeah. My little brother actually brought his car over to get the exhaust fixed. Somehow the exhaust broke the hook and it was hanging off by one. So I'm going to help my dad tomorrow with that before he goes to work tomorrow. So, yeah. Plus my little brother's got a... My little brother had to go to night shift last night, but I am super fucking tired. I thought he was done with night shift, but no, they had to give him one long fucking shift that he knocked off about 3 a.m. in the morning today. So, they actually give them the shit. He's not really happy about it. I understand about my, my little brother. You can't even see the emotion in his face, but you can actually hear it from his voice. He's not really happy to the young lad. Me? I don't do night shift, so I'm fine. <laughs> I do engineering, but I have not got any work yet, so... If it's the point, if I have to work on my own, I will. But... If any Indian from India asks to work for me, I say fuck off. It's my, it's my work, no Indians allowed. Because I'm Aussie. <laughs> because every worker in Australia right now, Indians have started to take over the whole workplaces and stuff. And What happens if you don't have work and all the Indians take over the work? You're left, by, you're left by nothing. And that's not right. So, yeah, not right at all. So I'm working on my own. So, I'll see you at car. Oh, ladies and gents. That was the end of the walk. Beautiful. Friggin' awesome. So right now, I gotta go back home. I gotta help my dad and just relax for the rest of the afternoon. I got, I literally got nothing to do. And literally, I do not have anything to do. I am bored. I need work. So being bored shitless, and just, Yesterday I done all my chores what I needed to do for my mum and dad and that's it. But that was yesterday afternoon. Not today. I'm tired. Literally. So right now let's go back home and I'm gonna have a cold juice and gotta find something to do. I am bored. I'm literally bored. I took a break from archery today because I want to spend time with family. And that's what I did today. Spend time with family. Even my little sister came over to see how she, how's her daughter is going. We babysit my niece that is her daughter for overnight, tonight, and Sunday night. Monday she'll pick her up. Because she's dating a British guy because her 
fiance that is my brother-in-law does not want to do jack shit like helping her with her own daughter so yeah it's kind of my, my brother-in-law does not want to do shit now not helping with the rent not helping do shopping or anything like that my sister's been doing this for months and literally it's not right so right now I'll see you guys back at the Dragon's Den till then let's go back there have a break and I'll see you guys about 4 o'clock alright ladies and gents it is the end of the video it's 16.01 in the afternoon so right now just got back for, uh, from the supermarket got the can, uh, the cans of soft drink for my fridge because I only got one left so that's why I went to the supermarket the soft drink I had drink one can a night to sell my stomach while sleeping so that's good so yeah I went over there got some soft drink and that will be it so I'm happy so tomorrow archery and a whole lot of good stuff so yeah pretty good I went to get a soft drink this afternoon after the walk and the drive and I did very really good there was no nerve-wracking about the snake, so the snake's not in my area still. It's still down near the Yowie site where I saw. So, yeah. But, I'm not going down there anymore. My hair's all puffy. <laughs> it, it always puffs up like this, like an alfro. So... That is pretty good to me. So, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys loved it. So let's turn off these two beautiful boys. Let them rest. <sighs> Far out. I'm going to help my dad with the lights. Then I'm going to go for a walk with the dog today. So, yeah. But today's been pretty quiet. Is soon the 12 hour race will be starting in weeks time oh, I really hate this dragon lamp I don't want to break it it's my favourite of all oh well luckily I fed my bear dragons that's all I need to do but let's see, today was boring. Let's see, I'll, I'd done all my chores yesterday. I helped my mum around the whole front yard and the backyard, and I ran out of things to do. Except I'm with my dad today, right now. That's what I'm going to do after this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys loved it. So if you guys got any comments at all, please leave it down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, tomorrow I'm going to archery. Go relax. I got to test out this new plat uh, rubber hose on my peep site so I can actually shoot sharp again. So go on slag. So I'll see you guys next time. Until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow for archery action. Till then, um. If you're new to my channel, or if you've got friends and family that is new to archery, engineering, and everything else, please invite them to my channel, and let them love it. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace for now. Do you?
Ha, ha, ha.